What's going on, guys? I want to talk about Jeff Stallon, the offensive line coach for the Philadelphia Eagles. Had his press conference today, been going over a lot of these. Um, talked about a lot of uh, different players, all the guys, pretty much the whole room of what's going on. Um, a lot of these guys haven't hit the field, just the young guys, but want to go over some focal points on well, what was important coming out of this press conference. Now, Jeff Stallon talked about Brandon Brooks. Um, about his Achilles injury and for a guy that's so positive he gives him a call once in a while and he seems so positive and Jeff's you know Jeff Stallon was like I feel worse than he does um, and you know because you know that's like his his player and uh, you know he's he's teaching him and he's been here the past few years has been a uh, pro bowler and you know Jeff Stallon said he is the best right guard in the league I mean number one and I believe that 100% um, just how much, and when he comes back from an Achilles injury and, and comes back and then he has another Achilles injury on the other leg and it's just been crazy, but hopefully with some of these other pieces could fill in. Um, Lane Johnson says that this team pretty much won't miss a beat and I pretty much believe that. Now, how does what does Jeff Stallard think of Jason Peters coming back? Well, the thing is, he says that all the offensive linemen in that room, everybody looks up to Jason Peters like he's the hero. Like when Jason Peters is in the huddle, it's a whole different atmosphere when he's there. And everybody looks up to him. So what's the difference from playing left tackle to right guard? Well, Jeff Stallard pretty much said is when you're a left tackle, usually the, the defensive end is, you know, four feet in front of you. Or sometimes, the you know, the defensive ends are lined up a little wider. So you have a lot more space to deal with with as a left tackle but when you go to right guard you have a guy right in your face so you have to make sure your blocks are on point your explosiveness is on point your run fits um, you know for the run blocking is fantastic I think he'll do good at the right guard position um, you know Jeff Stallis says that you know Jason Peters loves um, a challenge uh, he mentioned like a couple of years ago that Jason Peters was snapping the football. He's like, I want to be, I could be a long snapper in the center if you need me. And Jeff, you know, was like, are you serious? And really said that Jason Peters was actually being serious about that. So, I mean, Jason Peters for his age and what he's done, I think it was a smart move to bring him back. I obviously didn't want him to start in front of Andre Dillard, but to bring him back and to, to excite the offensive line and being right in between Kelsey and Lane Johnson is going to be nice. It's going to be a nice right side. Um, so very excited for that. Jeff Stallon talked about Andre Dillard that we drafted the first round a few years back. And, you know... Jeff Stallon was like, you know, progression-wise, you know what? He thinks he does look, he definitely is stronger, um, proved, improved in his strength. But he said that there are some areas in Andre Dillard that he definitely needs to work on, which I, it's not Andre Dillard's fault. The front office, you know, J Jason Peters has jumped in front of him. Um, and, you know, he's had some snaps here and there, and they put him at right tackle for one game, and that was pretty much it after that. But, you know, uh, Jeff Stallon is, you know, thinks that he'll come along well. It's just right now, with none of these guys on the field right now, being in the meetings virtually, um, but, you know, he definitely has a lot to prove on, improve on, but, you know, his, his main thing is he wanted Andre Diller to get his strength up, which he definitely did. Uh, so he's happy about that. So left tackle is still like a big question mark uh, right now. And I think a few games down the road, I think we'll be set. Jeff Stallon was asked about Jordan Mulata, the big rugby star at 6'8", 350 pounds. And, you know, uh, Jeff Stallon was kind of just sitting there and he was like, well, I don't really have an answer because he hasn't hit the field yet. Um, he's noticed in the meetings, you know, the virtual meetings that he's very positive, seems like a very different person uh, in the play, you know, in the playbook, re wanting to learn more and doing more, um, but said that, you know, he has high hopes for Jordan Mulata when he does come back. Obviously, the injuries have set him back, you know, the fake IR list and what's going on with him where they've kind of put him on IR so no one would take him at some point. Um, but he want, he hopes that, you know, what he learns and, and, every, and the positive – uh, feedback that he's getting it goes to the field with Jordan Bellotta and he does really well I mean for a guy that at his size is a gift it, it's a gift because if he could work out at 6'8 350 being as agile as he is he could do some good things in the league he could be a starting right tackle or whatever in the league so uh I guess it's just a waiting game for Jordan Mulata and what he's going to bring to the table when they get on the field. So when talked about Matt Pryor, he said that Matt Pryor was probably took the biggest jump out of all the offensive linemen. Obviously, 
Um, he has played left tackle, right guard. You know, he could probably be a very good swing guy. He actually talked about that between Matt Pryor and Jordan Malata, that they could potentially be swing guys. And if one of these guys could definitely work out, um, you know, they, he thinks this offensive line is pretty much set for the year. Okay, uh, Matt Pryor is in great shape right now. Been working his tail off in the offseason. And like I said, Jeff Stalin says that he made a big jump, um, you know, just from his play. Um, so we're just going to have to see when he gets on the field. Like a lot of this information is pretty much like we're going to have to wait till we hit the field. Um, but he has definitely made the big jump, especially from last year, probably till, till now he's made a huge jump. So Jeff Stallon is optimistic about Matt Pryor. Obviously he's not going to start, but a swing guy, which we haven't really had in a while. We need a, a, a promising swing guy in case something that someone needs to be out for a few plays or a game or two or whatever. You never know. So uh, very good information about him. Jeff Stallon talked about the two Auburn boys that we drafted, Jack Driscoll and Prince Tagawanabo, two guys from Auburn that, um, you know, showing promise um, he said that obviously the young guys are still here, but uh, they're, it's a very energized and they're very smart. They're a smart group and they know a lot more than they should have known before coming to the NFL, which is a good thing. Um, but to get them prepared is the most important thing to uh, Jeff Stallin because before the veterans come here, he wants, you know, you, you want to get as much off Jeff, Jeff Stallin as possible. And Jeff Stallin wants to put as much information and more teaching into these guys before the vets come. This way, when the vets do come, they have pretty much a, you know, a little bit, they're a little ahead. Um, this way, they're not kind of lost when the veterans do come here. They know the concepts of what's going on. And all it is is really just getting better uh, and trying to make this roster. So uh, for Jack Driscoll and Prince Tagawanabo, um, not saying they have shots to make it, but futuristic shots probably. Obviously, Jason Kelsey's not going to be be here after another two years this year and next year. And there's some spots that are going to be opening up for more competition. So these are developmental guys that, you know, maybe somebody will stand out this year. But we just have to see obviously no preseason finally press taylor the passing game coordinator had a press conference not crazy information it's going to be really short really talked about carson's strengths his weaknesses limiting his throws um you know not you know creating big plays you know the weapons that he has around him going into the season how much uh you know how roseman has put around carson wetz is he you know so there, there's a lot going on with that it's a lot of what ifs and we all know what carson wentz can do so i'm not going to get into the whole uh press taylor went to all like what carson wentz does and what he does well and doesn't well i think we know what he does well um you know and doesn't do well and, and obviously protecting the football was the biggest thing that press taylor said which i definitely agree with because i think he's second quarterback Back in the league in fumbles the past few years uh, trying to make the big play every single time which Carson Wentz definitely does I mean Carson will always beat Carson uh, but he needs to protect himself more and he definitely knows that not only just from fumbles but from injury as well so uh, that's pretty much what Press Taylor said in, in the interview today so other than that guys you know the offensive lines it's not really a big question mark I think I think Jason Peters will actually do very well at right guard. I have no problem with that. I mean, very close with Kelsey, Wayne Johnson. That right side should be solid. Andre Dillard on the left side is a question mark to me because I have no idea what's going to happen. Obviously, we're going to see if Andre Dillard is going to work out that left tackle spot. We're going to see if he's ready for the first game. And if the coaches don't think he's ready, I don't know what's going to happen. Matt Pryor has le has played left tackle. Jordan Mulata is coming back stronger. And you never know what could happen with Prince Tega Wanabo and Jack Driscoll. I think Prince Tega is more of a size tackle than Jack Driscoll. Jack, Dr Jack Driscoll is more of an undersized type guy. Uh, Jack Driscoll has played left tackle, left guard, and I think right guard. I'm not sure. Uh, he's played multiple positions. So obviously a lot of these offensive linemen are cross training. A lot of the backup guys are cross training. So if you know if you know more than one position on this offensive line, you're a big asset to the Philadelphia Eagles because if someone does go down, obviously if it's a pro bowler, you're not going to replace a guy like that, but you could be a solid backup uh, that could do some good things. You look at, you know, Big V that came in for Jason Peters, didn't miss a beat. I think he only gave up one sack during that Super Bowl year and you never knew he was really on the field or made any mistakes because he never really was noticed, and that's a good thing. Other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. This is pretty much a waiting game for the offensive line. See what they do when they come uh, come on the field and see what's going on. Um, so other than that, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about the offensive line, the backups, Matt Pryor, how Andre Dillard's going to do at left tackle. Do you think he'll be good in a few games, or do you, do you think he'll be, be prepared for the first game? Do you think he'll even start? So uh, about Jason Peters at right guard. Anything you guys want to talk about, leave in the comment section below. I'll get to you guys 
as fast as possible. And I will see you guys later. Shake squid up. Fly, fly.